Welcome to Channel to Chaos. Today I learn one of the features of programming which is known as array. Now this feature array is used in basically all programming languages. It's just not used in C. It uses in various other programming languages. So this is a quite a useful feature I would say and it's really important that you understand this nicely. Now basically if you ask a normal person which doesn't have any clue of programming, what is an array? So he will say it's a collection of elements a collection of same thing. So in programming you can define an array as a collection of elements of the same type. So basically what I'm saying here, if you declare an array of let's say 30, means having 30 elements, so it's going to be of the same type. If you're choosing mouse, okay, a mouse, so it's going to be 30 mouses, it cannot be mouses and keyboards. So let's say in programming I have to declare an integer, right? and I want let's say 50 of the same integers I'm not going to declare 50 different integers for this this is going to be it's going to take a lot of time so in order to do that conveniently we use an array so again I'm going to give you an example let's say I have an integer roll number okay a class uh, of a college consists of many students and each student has got a unique specific roll number assigned to them so the thing is there are more than one right there are more than one roll numbers in a class so I'm not gonna declare like roll number one semicolon integer roll number two that's gonna take a while to a programmer to finish his program it's gonna be really difficult to you know to access and withdraw the data so the convenient way is you to use an array now array again is only used when it's gonna be of the same element of the same data type if it's a roll number of integers, it's going to be integer all along the program. It cannot change to float, character, double, or anything like that. It's going to maintain to integer. It cannot change that. You cannot change that. Because it's the definition of an array. It's just a collection of elements of the same data type. It's just that simple. Now, we have got these a collection of roll numbers over here. 21 roll numbers available counting the zero obviously because an index of an array starts from a zero do keep that in mind so in order to store data in an array all you need to do is type in roll number the the place where you want to store again you have got 20 of them so you can put up to 20 you cannot put 21 because it's not available you have put in declared over here of 20 you can start from zero you can go up to 20 so that makes you for 21 places available and if I type in the equal to sign and the number that I want to store and the semicolon, it will store it. If I run the program, it will execute without any issue. There's nothing to be displayed, obviously, because we haven't used any printf functions yet. So again, I have stored the data in. But the thing is, we have just stored one data. We have just stored one roll number. Now, this is going to be a really hectic process, storing one number at a single time. So in order to store an array, we use a loop, right? We use a for loop to be specific. Now this tutorial just was to explain you what's an array. In the next tutorial, you'll learn how to store and access those elements using a loop. Now it is obvious if you have the fifty thousand variables, an array of fifty thousand of same variables, you will need a for loop or, or any loop. Basically, you need a loop to access that because it's going to be really really big issue for you to access those elements in a single order or saving them in a single order so we use a loop in order to do that but again this is going to be covered in the next tutorial I'm just going to do a brief recap what an array is and how do you declare it an array is a collection of elements of the same data type so basically anything any entity like a roll number okay roll number is not an entity but again it's a logical thing Roll number is a number. It doesn't have a decimal point or anything like a fraction number. It's just a whole number. So I've used an integer over here. And any class, any college consists of multiple roll numbers. So basically I've used an array to make the most out of it. It's really convenient putting it this way. Just two brackets, square brackets. You type in the number of how many elements of that type you need and that's it now you can store it as the way that I showed you before you can access it the way that I showed you before it's just that simple 
But the thing is, the loop is used for our convenience and the convenience of the compiler. It's that simple. So anyway, this has been Channel Chaos. I hope you like this video. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much.